I think the other thing I wanted to comment on is your idea that you know women are coming from this place of sort of the only thing that's going to get us there is our struggle and effort. And, and switching that to sort of how can we be pulled by our joy and pulled by our passion, um, maybe with no less activity, but coming from an inspired place, coming from mm -hmm. the desire of what we want to create, mm -hmm. rather than coming from this idea that if I don't keep pushing, I'll never get there. It's, it's funny because uh, one of the reasons that women leave corporate life is they have a bullying boss um, and, and they get out. They don't always give the feedback back that their boss is, that their boss is bullying, but they do. But you can internalize that and be your own bullying boss and be really hard on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we can't, we can't afford to do that. And I think that's more, again more important why we as women need to be connected, working, collaborating together, celebrating together, because we can't make ourselves ill with work. We have to enjoy it. We only have this one life. We might as well have work be an expression of our best us. Absolutely. And, bring, and, and be a vehicle to bring our joy to the world. Absolutely. I mean, I keep thinking about what Ariana Huffington said this weekend about we need to spend less time crafting our resume and more time creating what would be said in our eulogy. So what is it we want to be known for? What is the impact that we want to make? And and it's usually something, if we're viewing it that way, to me it's something bigger. Mm. It's big enough that it's beyond what I can do on my own. And so then it's about pulling in the right resources to help that happen and collaborating to get there. And that's something that women do very well, so that we need to draw on every collaborative bone in our body and find others to work with and, um, you know, find out who they are, what's important to them and expand our businesses by other, you know, not just by our effort, by leveraging the skills of other people. Right. I think the part that women do really well is that they enjoy building relationships. Mm. They don't feel a need to do it alone, so there's a desire to bring in others. And there's often a willingness to see value in what others are bringing, right? Those are the pieces that I think women do really well. Seeing the value in others, but not necessarily right. themselves. The second part is they actually have to see as much value in what they're offering and what they're bringing to the table. And then being willing to hold both of those as yes. equally valuable mm -hmm. as they problem solve together towards the solution. Fantastic. That's great advice. Brilliant. Well, thank you. Um, we've had some benefit here of what your law students get <laughs> at Stanford in working out how we can uh, just forget working on your own. I think the new way of doing business is really to seek out as many collaborative partners as possible so that we're not lonely and we're bringing more joy and more success. We're going to be more successful, aren't we? Absolutely. Yes, I think it's both meaning and more joy and, and real business results. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching.